Okay, I've already talked about how the transhumanist media are stones, right? You got the left, the blue stone, and the red stone, the red pill, the blue pill, however you want to talk about it, right? And I don't know if it's IARPA or DARPA or whoever's behind this COG program, and then they play geopolitical warfare amongst the media to forecast. It. <laughs> It's so complicated, but I just want to explain uh, how this drive-by media, as Rush Limbaugh calls it, works, okay? I used to work on the pipeline before this technology came here and tortured me almost to death. I had three heart attacks and a stroke. It was tapping me. But before that, I was already tapped, right? And the conservative radio show host would use me to play games, right? So it, they're robots. They're transhumanists. They have a heads-up display. They can see television right in front of their face. Either that, because I can. After I was tapped and tortured, I had this heads-up display. And this is when, my at that point, my life had been ruined. I had the perfect life out on the bio. And these people were going to try to make me one of their freaking Illuminati slaves like everybody else in the media and I wasn't having any of it right because I have other technology that was here and that's why they picked me and why I was so good to be used for their game right so as I'm driving around the pipeline looking at signs and stuff like that they would it's called a pitch and a catch, right? They would say something in their show and whatever sign I would look at because we're all controlled, right? It would, it, you'd get points in their little media game here, right? It's the left versus the right, however they're, whatever you want to say it. But I, Michael Berry and Rush Limbaugh, I would always drive around the pipeline and as they're doing their show, I would look at signs and, and it's absolutely, proven this shit's unbelievably hard to do. But I've kept notes here, and I'm trying my best to prove how evil this shit is, okay? But this day, right, Michael Berry has two commercials he used to on uh, his radio show. And one of them is a guy that comes and digs up dirt or whatever, right? So he would always emphasize in this commercial, dirt. And this was after I'd been uh, connected to President Trump, right? Because... They wanted me to get dirt on President Trump because they weren't connected to him. He was an outsider. However, I had the Russian stone, which is sexually transmitted, and President Trump has the Russian stone. So I was their ticket into President Trump. That was the Sheldon Adelson. Sheldon Ad the Sun, okay? We were the only two people, apparently, with a particular kind of technology, and they figured out how to hack it. And I didn't have any idea about any of this, okay, before all of the media came here and started using me for their political warfare, all right? Swear to God. But on this day, and you can go back, it was February 16th, 2018, I was on my way into work, and I knew they were playing this game at this point, okay? Because you could tell in their show, we were click-clacking back and forth. Freaking Rush Limbaugh's telepathic more than anybody on the planet. And it's because he has those uh, ear pl implants on his head. They they made him deaf so they could turn him into a total freaking robot. The guy is absolutely te telepathic. It's unbelievable, all right? And he is the beekeeper. Now, uh, uh, Michael Berry's commercials. One of them's Gulf Coast Windows. And what and dirt okay and that's michael berry was spelling it out in his commercials they they remember that in uh, captive state they advertise or they they you know send their messages in the classifieds well gulf coast windows represented me and i was the window by arpa who's using people as cogs okay i'm almost positive of that to predict you got to have imagination right so you got this ai and quantum technology that can predict the future but it needs imagination so all of these targeted individuals and stuff are connected uh to the computer to use their imagination it's just like the movie minority report that is actually what's going on here they've made a hybrid forecasting machine and they just pluck people out of thin air and use them for their imagination okay now i'm driving i take a left on 45 and i'm heading north and i as soon as i see the smoke and you can go back february 16th 2018 and listen to michael berry shows early in the morning about eight o'clock somewhere around there Okay, and, you, and then he's in, I got him on the radio here. I take a left on 45 North, 
and Michael, as soon as I see the smoke, Michael goes, oh, God, what now? You know, something to that effect, like, uh, you know, you can tell because they have his heart and trained and everything else. You've got all these indicators on your body. They can give you a heart attack with this technology. So as soon as I seen the smoke, he had chest pains, and he was like, oh, God, they're going to kill me. This was a hit on Michael Berry is what it was. The people driving this truck pulling windows, okay, are out in the middle of a parking lot, I got a picture of the guy. He's a, he was a Mexican guy. I got a, I've got more video than the one I'm about to show you. But this truck just magically is on fire that's pulling windows, right? This was a threat to Michael Berry, okay? This is how they play this evil satanic game in their cult. And they use people like me because my eyes are chipped, right? And they got this super advanced technology, okay, that allows them to play these games. Well, this was, a, and I saved all of this just to pull it out at the perfect time. I've got all kinds of stuff that proves all of this. Well, Michael Berry, uh, he sees the smoke when I do, and he, as soon as I pull up to this truck, he's having chest pains, right? They're, they're letting him know they're going to murder him, all right? Well, he, has, he starts talking about his kids in the, in the radio show because he wants, look, I got kids, basically. That's the way that works. He's like, I, I'm sorry I messed with y'all. I didn't mean to talk about dirt in my commercials. I didn't mean to talk about the Gulf Coast windows. And he may have been helping me put all of this get together. I'm not sure. But he was getting death threats right here on this day, February 16th, 2018. And this was a hit on Michael Berry and their evil satanic cult. And you can hear him here. As rewarding for me and for everybody I know who actively parents as being a parent. There is nothing as rewarding. There's n you will never once regret it. Never once regret it. So um, a very, very, very happy birthday to my uh, baby boy, 11 years old, Crockett Marcos Berry, today. Boy, 11 if you listen to him real close here, you can hear the fear in his voice. He was just scared. And he, Michael's playing this game with them. They all know about this, right? And they all are in on just using random people to play evil satanic games in their cult. Birthday to my uh, baby boy, 11 years old, Crockett Marcos Berry, today. I told you this is going to be a great show, and in continuation of that, remember the story we told you about the guy... All right, now whatever that story that's about to come up, if you go back on February 16th, 2018 and listen to Michael Berry's show, you can pull it up on uh, uh, iHeartRadio or whatever. I don't remember what the story was, but it's probably something worth looking into. But I guarantee you, if about 30 minutes before that part you just listened to, when I took a north on, uh, uh, took went north on 45 michael berry as soon as i seen the smoke michael berry seen the smoke because we're connected in this mind hive and he went oh god or something like that you know they knew i mean and then the, it turns out a truck's on fire pulling windows all right this is an evil satanic cult and they pick people out of thin air and use them like myself as they drive around looking at different signs and playing games in their uh in the media everything in the media is cooked up it is all fake news and this is how they cook up fake news. Everything's fake. The whole freaking enchilada, it's all bullshit. All of it is. I mean, 90% of it, okay? All of this Russia scandal, uh, Mueller wasn't investigating anything. It's all bullshit. They used my imagination to cook most of this shit up. I'm sending this to DIA. I'm tired of being used. Y'all need to do your damn job. Get this technology out of me. I've been keeping notes here to put an end to this illegal program. Okay, and I guarantee you, go back February 16th and, and listen to that leading up to what you just heard there about 8 o'clock in the morning or somewhere around there. Uh, and it, it, it's probably even better than what I'm showing you in this video. But you should hear Michael Berry go immediately from talking about whatever he was to, oh shit, to talking about his kids because they were putting a, a hit out on him. And this was his symbolism to let him know that he was being hit, okay?